For this last example, we're going to get a little stop and jot going and draw the Bohr electron configuration for potassium. We're going to use that to determine the number of valence electrons made available for bonding. So, as always, we'll start with our handy dandy periodic table. I'll go right to ptable.com and we're looking for potassium. Potassium is another one of those funky ones that doesn't actually start with P. P over here is phosphorus. Potassium is K, right below sodium. Here we see that potassium has an atomic number of 19 and a mass number of 39. So we're going to bring that back and draw it right up here for reference. Okay, atomic mass of 19, atomic number of 19, and atomic mass of 39. That means we have 19 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So let's give it a shot. We have our nucleus in the center and our first orbital shell which fits two of our electrons. One, two. We're going to take our next orbital and fill it with eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll cross off eight more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That leaves us with nine more. We'll need another shell. Cross off another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll be left with one more, which means we'll need one more valence shell right there. We'll fill the inner shell with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and our last one on the outside, giving us one valence electron. And that should wrap it up. Beautiful. Hope this helped.